Welcome back to the Red Carpet Rio, where we give you the latest in music industry news, drama, and everything in between. Today, we got a wild one for you. So picture this, you're chilling at a mall, minding your business, and suddenly, bam, you run into Kevin Gates. Sounds cool, right? Well, not if your YouTube pranks the way on, who just found out the hard way that Kevin Gates does not play around. So let's dive into it. So here's how it all went down. Our boy Wayon was filming himself at the Westfield Topanga Mall in California, doing his usual prankster thing, and boom, he spots Kevin Gates out shopping with a lady friend. Now, instead of playing it cool, Wayon decides it's prank time and walks up to Gates with a camera in his face saying, you look like Kevin Gates. Wait, that is Kevin Gates. Now, Gates did not look amused at all. If looks could kill, this prank would have been all over before it started. Kevin, being the straightforward guy he is, tells Wayon, look, stop playing with me, bro. Get the fuck out the door. Basically, Kevin was giving major don't mess with me energy. But did Wayon stop? Oh no, it gets worse. Here's where things go completely off the rails. Wayon, clearly not reading the room or, you know, his own survival instincts, decides to push his luck. He actually asked Kevin Gates to say, and I quote, Can you say dick in that pussy for me real quick? <laughs> yeah, you heard that right. An X-rated request in the middle of a public mall. I mean, what was Wayon thinking? Kevin Gates, on the other hand, was done. He snaps and gives Wayon a quick smack to the back of the head before just casually walking away like nothing happened. And let me tell you, Wayon's reaction was priceless. He's all like, ah, Kevin Gates, what the heck, Kevin, that hurt. My bad. Wait, wait, can, can you just say, can you say dick in that pussy for me real quick? Ah, Kevin Gates, what the fuck, Kevin Gates? Come on, man. Oh, that hurt. What the heck, Kevin? I didn't appreciate that, Kevin. That hurt a lot. Kevin Gates just assaulted me. Damn, ouch. At this point, Wayon's realizing that maybe, just maybe, he made a huge mistake. But in classic YouTuber fashion, he turns it into content. Kevin Gates just assaulted me, but that's low-key a dub because apparently getting smacked by Kevin Gates is now a badge of honor. But hey, Wayon's not the only prankster testing rappers' patience. Remember social media Gerard Huston? He's out here deliberately mistaking rappers for other celebrities, just to see what happens. He tried it with Flavor Flav, calling him Boosie Badass, and Flav actually rolled with it. Flav's all like, that's my guy, I'm his daddy, you want me to be yours too? Oh my god, look, that was you bro, Lil Boosie bro! Lil Boosie ain't it, bro. Everybody Lil say Boosie. that. Everybody say that. You ain't Lil Boosie? But that's my guy. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm, I, I am his daddy. You, you Lil want, Boosie daddy? You want me to be yours too? You can't be my daddy. I, I could be your daddy. Believe bro, me. Bro, Lil Boosie daddy, bro. Oh my I could be God. Your daddy Lil too. Boosie daddy, bro. Oh, God, bro. I appreciate you. Lil Boosie daddy, bro. Talk about flipping the script, but not every rapper's in the mood for jokes. Huston tried that same stunt with E40 calling him Fat Joe. And let's just say E-40 wasn't having it. He clapped back with, you a comedian? That was childish, right? He even threw a zinger asking if Huston was born in 2024. Savage. I knew that was you, bro. Fat Joe, bro. Fat Who's Joe, bro. Huh? Fat Joe, bro. Fat Joe, fat yeah, Joe. I was just with it. No. Oh, you ain't Fat Joe? No. Oh, snap. You ain't Fat Joe? You talking me Fat Joe? Yeah, you Fat Joe. You a comedian. childish, right? Well, childish? Come on, man. When was you born? Hold up. Ooh. 2024? 24. That's childish. That's childish, bro. Yo, do your homework. Ooh. That's a heavyweight, man. That's 40 water. That's a heavyweight, man. Huh? Yeah, they with him, bro. Some dude, some dude walked to him and called him Fat Joe. Oh! Moral of the story. Some rappers will laugh it off, and some, well, well, some will smack you upside the head. So choose your targets wisely, pranksters. So what do we learn today, folks? If you see Kevin Gates out and about, maybe just let the man shop in peace. And if you're a YouTube prankster, be ready to face the consequences because not every rapper is down for your antics. Wayon's experience with Kevin Gates is definitely one for the books. What do you think? Did Kevin overreact or was Wayon asking for it? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Red Carpet Reup.